with a new upper lighter than the previous version, with a handy two roads, the Light Strike Pro in the midsole to support the transition, is the Boston 11 the new versatile shoe from Adidas, or the new daily trainer? Let's check it out! Staying on pace, running the race, life is a chase, I don't wanna place, I wanna be first, work till it hurts, dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse, oh! High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives You create thoughts, never waste time You got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna be Welcome back guys in another video. I run different trainings uh, with the new Boston 11, uh, slow run, tempo run and the interval trainings and I was surprised, but as always, let's split the video in three different chapters, the specs, the house of midsole and upper and finally the conclusions. Starting from the specs, the Boston 11 is a neutral shoe uh, of 39.5 mm in the heel, 31 uh, mm in the forefoot uh, for a drop of uh, 8.5 mm, not bad. Uh, with the light strike and the light strike pro foam in the midsole, uh, continental rubber in the outsole, TPU energy rods to support the transition, a shoe made mainly for the road and uh, the track, uh, with the light main shopper lighter than the previous version. It has a weight of 298 grams, 10.5 uh, uh, ounces uh, in my size, US 10 size. The price is another 60 euro, but I believe it's easy to find uh, a good discount uh, out there in the market. The shoe is true to size. Let's continue with the house. So, but before to go ahead, guys, smash the like button, activate the notification bell, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I truly love your support. Uh, let's keep this uh, channel growing. I really appreciate it. But let's talk about the house now. Great continental rubber in the house sole, which performs great uh, in any condition, wet and dry, even in gravel paths, uh, thanks to the uh, pattern, uh, which remind me uh, the Hadio 7. But it is not stiff uh, and thick as the Radio 7, uh, you can even hear from, uh, from the sound. This makes the shoe comfortable since uh, the first ride. I ran on the road but also on gravel paths uh, and uh, the grip was great, even in the, the turns and uh, in wet conditions. Despite that, uh, I would suggest it uh, mainly for the road. In terms of durability, there is plenty of uh, great quality rubber uh, in the household. Um, the spotted foam is not that much, so at least I expect 500 km easy. I'm just wondering if we'll have the same issue as the, in the ASIO 7, uh, which uh, collects a lot of uh, stones. Uh, but so far I haven't noticed uh, any stones uh, stuck in the house, so, so it's not so hungry as the ASIO 7, maybe after 100 miles. Looking at the midsole, uh, uh, the stack 8 is not uh, the one of the lowest, 39.5 mm in the heel, 31 uh, in the forefoot, uh, almost at the limit of the race restrictions, uh, but it doesn't matter because this is not the shoe I would use for racing uh, due to the weight, uh, which is improved but still close to uh, 300 grams um, which is almost 90 grams heavier than the rc4 for instance and the 70 grams uh, uh, heavier than the audio 7. i usually don't like to train in such uh, high stackage shoes uh, because i like the ground feel and i like also that my feet are working more than the shoe but i believe that after certain fast workouts uh, mm, shoes like the boston 11 can give you the support you need in order to recover properly in a um, protective and safe uh, shoe and avoid injuries. We know that the Light Strike is stiffer than the Light Strike Pro. We measure them different times, uh, but I like that the Pro is extended throughout the shoe and not only in the forefoot like uh, the Adio 7. Because uh, landing in the heel is totally another experience in comparison to the RC4 uh, and the Adio 7, uh, and I guess. Uh, the mix of the two forms ensures compound and response at the same time. We don't have here any torsion system like in the Radio 7, but uh, we have the energy rods in TPU, uh, which make the shoe uh, a bit more rigid, uh, uh, but more responsive. It helped me a lot uh, during the uh, tempo run, uh, supporting um, the transition and ensuring a smooth ride, uh, thanks also to the rocker in the forefoot. The stability is great. Uh, I've a little bit of pronation uh, that you have seen in one of my previous videos uh, in the Takumi Sen8. Even if it is a neutral shoes, uh, with all that foam I was uh, somehow scared because the heel height uh, in terms of stability is not helping. 
Uh, he said it was not a problem due also to the uh, wider area in the heel, uh, wider than in the Audio 7 uh, RC4 or Takumi Sen8. In terms of running dynamics, as you uh, know, I collect two main dynamics, uh, uh, average ground contact time for checking the response and uh, average vertical oscillation ratio for checking the efficiency, uh, running at five different running pace, which you can see here in the table. And this shoe impressed me. It has a, um, an average ground contact time comparable to other great shoes like the Hadio 7, for instance, but a better average uh, uh, vertical oscillation ratio, uh, which means the shoe is uh, responsive and keep you running forward instead of pushing vertically. I would be curious to compare the Boston 11 uh, with the Audio 7 in a 5K trial or 10K trial, uh, even though I expect uh, the weight will not play in my favor. And now let's talk about the upper, which is different than in the previous version. Uh, lots of overlay and underneath material as a reinforcement. It looks different but breathable. You can even see through it uh, with an increased uh, room in the forefoot, um, but I have a really thin fit and uh, it is still okay. The structure of the upper uh, itself ensures a great lockdown. Uh, I have to say, an amazing feeling since uh, the first run. Since it has a similar heel counter and cap uh, as the Takumi Sen8 or Adios 7. Before the first run, I was uh, skeptical about the foot lockdown because it is not perfect in the Takumi Sen8 or uh, Adios 7. But in the Boston 11, the heel counter is well reinforced and uh, the result is a great foot uh, lockdown. I would like to see the same uh, heel counter in the Audio 7 or Takumi Sen8. In the internal side of the heel counter we have uh, um, the padding to lock the heel in place, uh, which also work great. Only downside is that uh, to wear the shoe is a bit more tricky, uh, you need to use the extra fabric material in the heel cap uh, to put them on. The tongue is a custard uh, tongue uh, which helps to um, keep debris uh, uh, from slipping uh, down through um, the laces and irritating the, your foot. It's uh, light uh, with a central padding, breathable and with the right length, uh, not too high like in the SL20 version 2 or too wide and padded uh, as in the uh, RC4. The laces have the right length and the lockdown system is made of uh, a solid fabric material, so really well done, especially without the horrible rings which uh, appeared now even in the Adios Pro uh, 3. If you remember, I got uh, one of them broken in the SL20 version 2. Now they use uh, to reinforce them, but um, I don't trust this system at all. I guess in terms of durability, the, this upper is quite okay uh, since the solid structure and uh, all overlay material uh, maybe even too much. So in conclusion, I have to say that the Boston level is a great surprise, uh, especially because I was not expecting uh, too much. <laughs> I still feel the difference with the other shoes, to be honest, uh, I, which I use uh, usually even for slow runs uh, like the uh, RC4 uh, or the uh, Audio 7, especially in terms of weight and uh, ground feel, but uh, much, much better than a Supernova Plus, of course. Huh? During the tempo run it was uh, a pleasure, uh, it kept me running fast, uh, supporting the rolling motion with a smooth ride, which helps to overcome somehow the, the weight limitation, uh, so I was uh, surprised. Can we use it as a daily trainer? I would say yes. Uh, is the best uh, comfortable daily trainer out there? I would say no. Uh, the energy roads are rigid and uh, the light strike foam is still uh, in huge quantity and not squishy as uh, other form using uh, other uh, daily trainers. The Boston 11 is another versatile shoe with a different target than the Adios 7. I see the Adios 7 a versatile shoe for lighter runners, uh, which always pay attention to the uh, performance. Uh, the Boston 11 instead, I guess, is a versatile shoe for the most, uh, and uh, also for the most performant runners who want uh, to, to have uh, a more comfortable or um, protective uh, uh, ride. Uh, I would use the Boston 11 mainly uh, for slow runs and uh, for tempo runs. For racing, nah, I would use rather the Adios 7. The original price is too much for such positioning in the market considering there are plenty of great shoes uh, which cost less in the same uh, category but I guess without too much effort it's possible to find them uh, um, for less than 100 euro which is definitely a, a good value for money. Oh guys it was interesting uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet uh, and to leave a like uh, if you like this content you will support me for free say that as always as always thanks for watching until the next time. Keep running.
Staying on pace, running the race. Life is a chase, I don't want to place. I want to be first. Work till it hurts. Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five. No mean boss. Just my life and free thoughts. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way. What I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stained from the people who deceive me.